Shalom, Shalom, Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu, Melech, Olam. Blessed is the Lord our God, King of the heavens and the earth. Amen. Jesus Christ is Lord. He is the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the ending, who was and is and is to come, the Lord God Almighty. Yeshua, Jesus, the Messiah. Amen. That's according to Isaiah 9, verse 6, Micah 5, verse 2, Revelations 1, John chapter 1, and Colossians chapter 1. They all speak of Jesus as God in, in the flesh, God Almighty. Amen. Well, brothers and sisters, things are heating up between Russia and, and Ukraine and NATO and the United States and uh, we're also seeing this strong alliance with uh, Russia and China now forming okay and it is now said that Russia is using hypersonic missiles that can basically be unstoppable okay and uh, so that's a big threat to the United States as well because I don't even think we can defend against uh, hypersonic uh, nuclear missiles. Okay. Now, with all that said, I do believe the rapture is very soon. Sudden destruction is upon us. The four horsemen are about to ride. And so we have to be ready with oil in our lamps. As one of the five wise virgins, we have to repent of our sins, turn away from our sins. And follow Christ according to his commandments and according to the New Testament Bible. Amen. Now, I also want to talk about the last day. Okay? In John chapter 6, Jesus told us that at the last day, uh, he will raise us up. Okay? Now, the Bible also tells us that you know, a day with the Lord is as a thousand years here on the earth, okay? So, if you put that into a seven-day uh, week cycle, uh, you would see that the uh, last day could be a reference to the Sabbath rest when Christ reigns uh, from Jerusalem, okay, after his second coming, after the tribulation period. Also, uh, if you do the if you calculate when Adam uh, was was created and the world was created, most scholars would say that that was about 4,000 years ago. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, 6,000 years ago, uh, roughly 4,000 BCE, okay, before Christ. So it was uh, roughly 4,000 years from Adam to Christ, and then from Christ until now, it's been about 2,000 years. So we're about to enter in the seventh day, the seven thousandth year. And Christ says in John ch chapter 6, He will raise us up at the last day. Okay, I think it's speaking of the ra uh, resurrection that's referenced in uh, 1 Corinthians 15, 52 and 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 16 and 17. Jesus says, or the Bible says that the dead in Christ should... Hello? How's it going? Did you want to see my sign? Okay. God bless. The Bible says that, you know, according to First Thessalonians, Thessalonians 4 verse 16 and 17 it says that uh, you know the dead in Christ shall rise first and those who are alive and remain shall be caught up uh, to be with the Lord forever amen uh, the dead in Christ shall rise first and those who are alive and remain will be caught up to be with the Lord I'm sorry I'm getting a little bit of brain fog here <laughs> can't think clearly especially after that uh, guy was staring at me for uh, wanting to see my sign Okay, so please bear with me. Okay So again going back to the last day I think Jesus could have been talking about the rapture where the dead in Christ rise first 
and those who are alive and remain in Christ will be caught up to be with the Lord forever, okay? And that is uh, probably is talking about the seven, the, the start of the 7,000th year, okay, uh, which is, you know, the reign of Christ on the earth. You know, Psalms chapter 2, the man-child is given a rod to rule all the nations with a rod of iron, okay? Revelations 19 and 20 tells us that uh, Christ will return from heaven with his saints to destroy the Antichrist and the false prophet and their army, okay? And then Christ will resurrect the tribulation saints and will establish his kingdom on earth for a thousand years, okay? Revelations 19 and 20. So that is all just uh, food for thought. Please study these things out on your own and be led by the Holy Spirit. And I hope to see you all in heaven very soon. And shalom until next time. Amen.